Assalamualaikum. Uh, welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply the logistic regression in the Rapid Miner. So this is my data, and after applying the generate attribute, so basically, I'm adding a new column inside my data. Okay, based on some conditions, and this is my whole data. The first step is I did not uh, label a data yet, a field of the data yet. So therefore, the first step is I want to label the prediction class. Okay, so that is our targeted class. So by doing this one, inside the operators, here write set role and drag and drop this here. Apply the generate attribute to this one and name the attribute name the prediction so basically we want the label of a prediction targeted class and its name uh, the targeted role is label so that's all if i again show the output and you will see that the predictions is green basically it shows that now our prediction class is labeled so far we are going in a right direction so basically now we apply the logistic regression so before that we have to split our data so basically i am using the 30 70 percent for the training purpose and the 30 percent of the testing purpose so or you can uh, uh, did this job by the cross validation so i am using the split operator Okay, and this is the split data and apply okay the split data basically the this one as in split data and inside the split data edit enumeration here we have to add two entities the first is for 70% of the data and the second remaining 30% for the testing purpose click on ok so now we have our data is split ok and now we apply the logistic regression operator ok so this is logistic regression drag and drop here and apply on the 70% of the data ok to the logistic regression so basically the first enumeration is 70% here so therefore I apply the first one to the log uh, logistic regression and now we have to train our model also for this one right here apply model okay and this is apply model drag and drop here and the 70% when we apply the logistic re uh, regression on the 70% then train our model and the remaining 30% data directly apply to our train model for the testing purpose okay so this is 70% for the training our model and once our model is trained the remaining 30% will be applied for the testing purpose and the last step is we have to calculate the performance for this one the performance classification operator drag and drop here to, to check the performance and apply this one to this performance as well and give me the performance and okay so this is how you can apply the logistic regression click on run so this error basically is because the logistic regression is used for only uh, that column that has two uh, that have two values okay for example yes or no or something but in my scenario okay there are four different values okay so therefore i uh, need to change my uh, basically uh, that column i add manually based on certain condition that has four values so i change this one for only two values if you have that uh, a certain column that have only two values then it's good for you but in my scenario i want to change this one so basically this is my expression that has given me the four values so i 
delete this one and paste for only severity column if the value is one then uh, yes please yes else no and a new column that i add that name is now severity okay or not prediction okay so i want to change this one as well apply and inside the set role the prediction is now removed so therefore here a new column that is severity so add the severity as a label here and 70 a 30 ratio apply this one if i execute now you can see that the logistic regression loads successfully and it shows me this result okay so where severity is not it also predicts not okay and basically this one the confidence value of not is greater than the confidence value of yes so therefore it predict not and there is a performance vector you can also here it correctly identify the pool by using the logistic regression and we can also check the plot view as well so this is how you can apply the logistic regression in rapid miner so hope this video will work you will help you a lot if you have any question regarding to this topic you can email me email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day